So it took a while, but spanning tree finally makes sense to me. I'm pretty happy about it. So what I thought I'd do, what, what, what it took was me drawing everything out and making sure in my mind that the loops actually stopped. And so what I did, what I thought I'd do is I would film it, and that way in the future I can still remember. And also I will probably post it. So what Spanning Tree does is it prevents loops in a switched environment, uh, which is what we have here. We've got Access Layer Switch 1, Access Layer Switch 2, Distribution Layer Switch 1, and Distribution Layer Switch 2. And each one is uh, connected by two redundant Ethernet ports. So, I mean, this, of course, would be a switching nightmare if Spanning Tree didn't exist. But Spanning Tree does exist, so we're fine. So what happens is all the four pit, all, all the switches get together and they decide which switch is going to be a root bridge. And in this topology, we'll say that they choose this one as the root bridge, DLS1. So what that means is all the traffic will actually flow through the root bridge and that will prevent loops. So every every switch is going to choose its main path to get to the root bridge. ALS1 is going to choose this path. It says this is the way I'm going to send stuff out to get to the root bridge. ALS2 does the same. It chooses this path. This is the way I'm going to get to the root bridge. DLS2 figures its stuff out. This is going to be the way I get to the root bridge. <clears throat> and then they close off ports. They don't close off everything, but they close off just enough to prevent the loops. And when it closes it off, this link is still going to be up. So this one's going to close this one. And this link is still going to be up, but it's not going to be listening. That switch is not going to listen off that port anymore. Until until such a, it's going to keep it up though, just in case. So in case the topology changes, then it can switch over and it'll still work. DLS2 is going to do the same thing. Closes off this one. It also closes off these two. And ALS2 is going to be kind of the runt of this of this uh, this whole topology. It's going to close off just about everything else. Okay, so this far, I understood before, this, this is what I had problems with. So, we have a PC over here, I know, beautiful picture of PC, it's connected to the switch, to ALS2, and it decides, it, it's turning on, so it has, it's, it needs an IP address, so it sends out a DHCP broadcast, so it's broadcasting, and it sends it out to ALS2. ALS2 receives this, and it would normally send it out every every port except for the port it came in on. So it, it's going to broadcast it out everything, but it can't broadcast it out these because these are closed down. It never, no longer uses them. It will, however, broadcast out here to get to its root bridge. Now the root bridge gets this, and it says, great, I've got a broadcast. I will broadcast this out every port, except for the port it came in on. So, broadcast is out here, but gets stopped because ALS2 is not listening. So, never gets anywhere. This loop is shut down. It will also broadcast it out here, but same thing. ALS1 is not listening off this port, so it stops right there. It will broadcast out here as well which is great. ALS2 gets, ALS1 gets this information and it will broadcast it out. We'll get back to that. It'll also broadcast out here. It stops. DLS1's, DLS2's not listening. And then it'll broadcast out here too and DLS2 gets this information. And it will broadcast it out every port. And I said we'll come back to this one, so let's do that now. ALS1 broadcasted out every port except for the port it came in on. came in on this port, so it's not going to broadcast it. This port shut down, so it never got the broadcast, but it's not going out either. 
So broadcast it out here, here, and here, but DLS2 is not listening there, so it doesn't get anywhere. Same thing here, broadcast out these ports to ALS2, but ALS2, also not listening, gets stopped. DLS2 broadcasts it out every port except for the port it came in on. This port's shut down, so it doesn't broadcast it. This port's shut down, doesn't broadcast it. This port's shut down, doesn't broadcast it. This port is open, so it broadcasts it. And this port is open, so it broadcasts it there too. But it's shut down. So that way, you can see that this Ethernet broadcast did go everywhere in the topology, but the loops have been stopped. Now, that's basically where this ends, but I'm going to fill it out with a few different topologies. Well, this is with the, uh, the computer in a few different places. So we've got one here, where instead of plugging into ALS2, well, the computer's going to plug into ALS1, just for peace of mind so I know it works. So PC1 sends out a broadcast. ALS1 gets it. And broadcasts it out every port except for the port it came in on. Broadcasts out here, shut down. Broadcasts it here, shut down, DLS2 is not listening. And this one's shut down, so it doesn't send it out, but since it had ALS1, ALS out this port to its root bridge, and the root bridge broadcasts it out every port it, it, it knows, except for the route it came on. So what it does is it broadcasts it out here, shot down, not listening, broadcasts it out here, shut down, not listening, broadcasts it out here, and ALS2 gets it. You know what? ALS2 can't do anything with it. It can't send it out the port it came in on, and these five ports are shut down. Nothing. Uh, also sends it out here. <coughs> shut down. Sends it out here in DLS2. Broadcast it out every port except the port it came out on. Came in on these, shut down, shut down, shut down, and broadcast out these, but it won't make it. So, same way. Completely covers the topology, but no loops. And just for peace of mind, because I am this paranoid, I'm moving the PC one more time. Broadcast it out to DLS2. DLS2 gets it. Every port, the port it came in on. So these ones, see rid of them, nothing. Can't, sit, can't ship it out these. It does broadcast it out here. And the root bridge says, I know what to do with that. I will I will send it out every port, except the port it came in on. Won't do this one, but it does this one. Shoots down, won't do it. <coughs> Spit out this one. Which is shut down. And this one. ALS2 gets it again. Says, woohoo, I've got a broadcast. Can't do anything with it. Shut, 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 shut. Okay. So we'll send it out here. Shut down. Send it out here. And ALS1 gets it. Ships it out, these ports. But they are not listening. And ships it out, these ports. But they're not listening. And yep. Spanning pre-protocol really works.